This is a video review for Transformers Generation 1 Bludgeon. Um, as you can see, obviously I didn't find my old one, sadly. Um, I haven't talked to my mom about that yet. Um, but I did buy a new one, um, and it's on card. Uh, this is what they look like when you pick them up off the shelf. Um, and I got it, and there is a little bit of damage to the bubble uh, here in the corner. Um, but otherwise sealed. Um, the card's a little warped, uh, not in the best shape. I mean, you see all the instructions on the back. Um, but yeah, not 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 a hundred percent great condition card, but really, um, it doesn't matter because we're just gonna tear this bad boy out anyway. So you open them up, and um, once that's done, I usually just throw away the bubble, keep the card because the instructions and tech spec and all that. Let me see. We got the just pan down here. Um, here's with the bludgeon robot. Take off, go ahead and take off his pretender helmet and open him up. His little purple gun should be right inside there, and it is. Um, we'll, get to the, we'll get to his pretender shell here in a minute. Um, but you can see uh, Bludgeon's little green robot um, obviously turns into a tank. And um, when you do that, you just want to flip his head down, slide his head down like that, uh, fold him, fold his legs up like this. Um, yeah, just like that. Uh, then put the turret on him. And then attach his gun. And there you have a little legend tank. Uh, the turret does turn. Oh, I, don't, I don't think it does a full... No, it doesn't do a full 360 just because of the little um, bumps there on the back of his robot mode. Or on the back of his feet. Or, or that, cause those actually are his feet. When you fold his legs up like that. But uh, the cute little uh, green tank. Um, and then transform him back again, just pull off the turret, uh, pull off the gun here, uh, flip his feet out, like that, uh, bring his arms forward just a little bit, and then slide this panel up, they have bludgeon in robot mode. Um, he can hold his, uh, hold his gun, pretty cool little guy. And to turn him for pretender mode, you want to go ahead and turn him mostly back to tank. Uh, leave the turret off. And bring over his pretender shell, uh, which is like a, you saw in the Revenge of the Fallen one. He's a robotic samurai, uh, undead samurai. You see his skull there. He even has a little scar there on his skull. Now uh, he's kind of want to, you want to, I find it's easiest if you bring him forward and just kind of squeeze the arms a little bit. Two halves pop right apart. Um, we store his gun right here in the leg. Some people leave it on the turret and have him hold it as a gun in shell mode, but that's not the instructions and that's not usually how I do it. You take the little inner robot and put him right in there. And then you snap the two shell halves back together. Um, okay, something's not lining up right because he's not. Oh, maybe, uh, this turret isn't lining up right, maybe like that. Well, I know it's supposed to store in there. Maybe he's supposed to flip over like this. No, there's actually a little notch there to hold him in place. Um, try a couple different... Oh, maybe... There we go, I bet it's supposed to go in there like that. Now what? Something just does not want to go together here. See, that seems too loose to me. Huh. It used to go together a whole lot easier than this. Let's consult the instructions. Hmm, nope. No help there. It's definitely the little inner robot here that's causing a problem. Maybe. There we go. The problem was, uh, when you turn him into the inner robot, you want to leave his head up. This little piece right here was, uh, blocking this little post on the inside of the shell. 
So now we know. And if we had 25% lasers and 25% red lasers and 20% blue lasers, we'd have the battle. Anyway, snap that together. Uh, put the helmet on. You can hold his gun over here. And like I said, a lot of people would leave the purple turret on this. And, um... Have him hold it like that as a gun. Um, but you'll notice there actually is a hole here on his elbow. Because this is supposed to attach over here as some kind of like armor shield. So you have Bludgeon. Um, he also came with a, uh... Mail away for a reflector. If you remember, he was a mail away figure. Um, I have a feeling that if I sent this in, I would not, in fact. Wow. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, yeah. Reflector, back in the day, cost $10 and two robot points. eleven seventy five with shipping and handling. And two robot points, and you got Reflector. Boy, that puts things in perspective, doesn't it? Anyway, there's Bludgeon. And just as a real quick, here he is next to his Revenge of the Fallen self. Uh, so you can see the similarities there. And they kind of got the, the eyes on the chest. Granted, Revenge of the Fallen are a little bigger. Um, but there they are together. Um, and here he is. I'm glad to have him back. In my hands once again, uh, original Generation 1 Pretender Bludgeon.